Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of our Tottenham Hotspur save. So we have a bit, an interesting episode. So we have a bit of like a transfer roundup, mini thing, and then we actually have two games we're going to play. And yeah, um, but quickly, just wanted to say, um, I mean, my camera is horrible because it's my laptop's camera, so I don't really have anything set up. But um, I've got on my Spurs jacket for the games. Oh, we're about to play. My jersey is at my dad's, so I don't have anything. My hair is atrocious, as you can see. I look like a mess. Um, yeah. I look horrible. Um, I don't have a good camera, and I still don't really know how to set up cameras. So, if you have any idea how to do that, please let me know. I'd appreciate any help. So, yeah, we're going to turn me off. But, yeah, we got the Spurs jacket on. And uh, hopefully that gives us some good luck today. Um, so... Quickly, just to go through some of the stuff that's happened, kind of see there, but um, yeah, only two major arrivals, um, right here as you can see, um, Christopher Iyer from Celtic, so I brought him in to I don't know why he's a center mid. I brought him in to be center defender, um, because I just I. Okay, so I don't dislike Tanganga and Rodin, but Rodin is just clearly, as you can see here, is not good enough. I learned about to Burnley because for some reason I could only get Premier League clubs to accept him, which is kind of annoying, but I'll take it. And then Tanganga I might use, but he's wanted he's wanted by uh, championship clubs, which is good, but he's the better of the two. But um. Ayer, um, he's a, as you can see here, he's good for Premier League sides, and uh, the thing that I really like, he's got good mentals, but I, I just love his passing ability, and I think he's really, really good on the ball, and uh, I just honestly think he could be really good for us. Oh, well, I have to turn that off. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't know, I think he'd be really, really good, and really, really great for us, and uh, yeah, so he comes in to uh, center back, and he's already created a really great pairing with Alderweireld. Um, I'm favoring him over Davies. And then, otherwise, we have Thomas Delaney coming in. Uh, so Delaney is going to be a halfback for us. Um, he's going to be our backup. Really, really good mentals. Great tackling, great work rate, as you can see. So very similar to the Javier Grohl. The two of them, I think, are quite similar players and quite same kind of style, which is why I have the two of them in there. Um, but yeah, uh, Javier is my number one, and I want those two to have pretty much be backups um excuse me you can also see everybody's played really well they all have great connections Regulon, Doherty and Bale, Don Bailey and Kane, Hoiberg and Suzoko and all of Ireland and Iyer that's not as strong because excuse me Iyer hasn't been here for too long but yeah that is pretty much the team um I'll figure out what I want to do with Sanchez the thing that I'm trying to figure out right now though is um so player registration we're at the limit, so if I'm to let Tanganga go on loan, I need um, I need another player, and my one idea was to possibly promote Jack Clark, but then I got an offer from Luton uh, to loan him in, and I considered, you know what, that's probably a better idea. Oh, and uh, I'm trying to sell Eric Lamella. <laughs> I don't have any plans for him. He doesn't really fit my system. He played horribly in preseason. Uh, well, I didn't think he was that good. Every time I watched, he seemed to like waste the ball, and I just didn't really think he was great. So, yeah, no one wants him. Kind of a problem. But yeah, also trying to Gazaniga. Well, trying to get off the books, but he's going. Um, Jetson, I'm just not even bothering with. But yeah. So that's kind of the only thing. Um, if Tanganga is to go uh, and Sanchez stays, I'm going to have to bring in a homegrown player. Um, and the idea would probably be a winger. And I'm thinking I might do that because I only have a one, I only have a backup for one of those positions. So it's like I have more Bergvine and that's it. I don't have anybody else. And I think that's what I'm probably going to do. So I'm probably going to loan in a winger of some kind. Because if we look at the finance, ah, I could buy someone 
I don't know. We'll find out, but that's something that could happen. So that's pretty much it for the transfers. Um, the outs uh, we can talk about uh, where... So Danny Rose sold him for $5 million to West Ham. Uh, Roden, as I said, loaned out. And then we just have a lot of other loans. Uh, sold this goalie to QPR. Um, and then just tons of loans. Managed to get some fees for them. Yeah, as you can see here, I got a lot of money for the Jack Clark loan. Um, which is really, really nice. So that's always helpful. Uh, but yes, we have a lot of room of money to work with if I did want to bring in someone as a winger of some kind. And I told them I'd approve the coaching staff and Iron wants to play. He would only sign if I said I'd play him at CDM, uh, at center back, which I was going to anyway, which was great. Um, but yeah, so without further ado, I should really show you this. Um, I'm terrible at forgetting to show you guys things. So, um, oh, that's just that color. Anyway. Show you preseason. Uh, beat Man City. Uh, we lost Liverpool, lost to United. Um, that was still growing pains. We lost to Salzburg, but there was an international break going on, so this was not the best team. There was a lot of uh, youth players. But, yeah, overall, I'd say solid preseason. A lot of wins, a lot of good results. So, yeah, that's always a, always a nice little highlight there. But um, I think we should get into the Brighton games. I'm really excited to play. Um, yeah, that happened. That's a little scary uh, <laughs> to think. So, uh, Liverpool won by eight goals to nil. But, um, uh, whatever. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm tired. I'm recording and I'm tired. So we have nine substitutes. How fit is La Celso? 45 minutes of action. Well, it's not like we have anybody in a much more fit position anyway. So I think we're just going to go with the team. All right, let's go, boys. So we got Ryan and goal, White, Dunk, Webster, and a three-man back line. Looks like Veltman and Lamptey, wingbacks, Oriel, but Skess? I think that's the Barca guy. Um, Lalana, Gross, McAllister, and Welbeck. Let's, uh, let's say that. Pump the fist a bit. It's a special day. I'm happy with my lineup. So let's see what they're playing. Um. Oh well, we've a do we have a highlight? What is it set to? Extended highlights. We're gonna go to key highlights for you guys. And there we are. So Regulon's running down the left wing, getting towards the byline here. He's gonna cross it in. Bale's gonna try to get ahead on it. He's taking it off his. Oh, uh, I think he handballed it. Bale handballed it. Um, so yeah, they're playing the three the three two uh is that who is this Busquets guy? Let's find out. Oriel Busquets. But Busquets. 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 I don't really know how fully I I still struggle to say that correctly. Yeah, so he's the Barcelona guy. Excuse me, sniffling as well. Um I think we're going to go to a bit more positive mentality. McAllister with a free kick in. Ayer's going to clear it. And Dumbelli picks it up. He's taking the ball forward. He's charged into the Brighton half. He keeps going. He keeps going. He's almost past 14 on Brighton, who I'm not sure that is. But he puts a weak shot with his right foot into Ryan, which is kind of disappointing. And that's going to be the end of the highlight. Haven't had too many opportunities so far. Let's encourage the lads, shall we? All right, we have a freak. Uh, sorry, freak. We have a thrown authority. He throws it into Bale around the halfway line. Bale kicks it into the middle. Good crossfield ball to Regulon, who plays it up to Son. Cuts in from the left wing, charging toward the center of the box. At the top of the box, hits one from distance, but I don't think that was ever going to be troubling Ryan there. Since I moved to a positive mentality, I think we've done a lot better. Um, not as many opportunities as I'd like, but. Four shots, two on target. I'll take it for right now. Um, Possession-wise, decent. All right, half's not over yet. Gross, the free kick from pretty far out. 
but I wouldn't I wouldn't put it past him to try it. He goes straight into the wall. Um, he's gonna push wide. McAllister's gonna hit it. Whoo! Okay, McAllister hits it from very deep, and Loris was definitely uh definitely struggling to get to that one. Uh, but we go in at halftime. Somewhat of a drab game, I would say so far from Spurs. Nothing uh too brilliant. Um, I'm not happy. Let's uh let's take a look at some tactics here. So how are people playing? Um all of Wilds on 6.5, that's not a concern. Uh deserved his yellow card, Hoybjerg. Um a little concerned to have him on a yellow, so I'm gonna put Delaney on. We have three yeah, we have three intervals we can make substitutions. <coughs> Alright. So sort of work the ball into the box a bit here. I think we well, let's let's try that. Let's try to work it in there and let's get some low crosses if we do. I think let's try that. And let's try to get to the full back side of the back when we're transitioning. Let's see if that does anything. All right, Dunk passes out of the back to the right wing over to Veltman. Oh, Sun's going to snag the ball off Veltman. He charges down the left wing. He's cutting inside. He's past their he's past their left back. He the it's a horrible shot. I'm I'm kind of amazed by how bad that was. I literally just said to put crosses in. But oh no, Sun has a shoot more often. All right, Doherty's out on the right. He cuts the ball across. It's headed out by Veltman. Collected by Delaney in the middle of the park. Go back to Ayer, who plays it out wide to Regulon. Up to Son on the left here. Back to Regulon. Takes his space down the wing. Drives towards the byline here. Cuts inside. Puts a cross in. Bails up with the header. Son on the back post. And it's 1-0. Alright. <laughs> First goal of the new season. Scored by Hongmin Son. With a lovely headed cross. Back, well, ho lovely header back across from Bale. Regulon did a great job to cut inside here. Hit it far post. Bale with a lovely knockdown. You know what? I think I'm giving him too much credit. I think that was a horrible shot from Bale. I think Bale messed that shot up really badly, and Son fortunately tapped that in. So, where's that? Loris is going to play it out of the back here. Ordovald's going to get it. He's going to go out wide to Regulon. Passes a little slow, but he gets there. Into the middle with Endombele, who's going to run forwards. Kane somewhat through if he can play him. He plays Kane. Uh, he's a little crowded by defenders now. Gets it to Bale. <sighs> Bale with a quick snapshot, but sadly he's going to be a little far wide. 60th minute. I think we might look to make a substitution or two. 66. Oh, we're going to pause. It's the 68th now. I kind of let that run a little far. Um... Midfielders. Uh, who's tiring? Most people here look like they're tiring. I think we're going to make a sub. Um, we have Lacelso and Mora and Winks. Winks can only really play there, but Suzoko. Can Suzoko play Cam? Not particularly. Uh, we'll keep him. I think he's. But he's. How is he? You know, 6.6, he's nervous. I think we'll give Winks some time um, on in there. Uh, I don't really want to play Lacelso. I'm a little concerned to give him some time. Um, Mora. I thought Mora, Lucas Mora could play Cam. He kind of can. I'm going to give him a shot at Cam instead of Endombele. And uh, we're going to see how that goes. Just two. Oh, Son and Bale are both tiring incredibly. Uh, well, let's. Uh, all right, eighth minute. Let's let's make those changes, shall we? Um, let's give the Celso some time. I'm going to take Bale. Oh, I'm only allowed three substitutions. I'm thinking I had five. That was stupid. You're shitting me. 
You're absolute. Jesus Christ. What is it? Potential thigh injury? That's, I mean, that could be worse. Let's just play without a striker. Let's go to more balanced mentality. Let's praise them. Hopefully it'll keep them going. Alright, that's going to do it. Well then, we uh, lost Son to an injury, so let's hope that's not too long. But a 1-0 win in our first game. I'll take it. <laughs> it's a little, it was a little boring, I think. We never really had anything going in that game. So, not the best. Give a little team talk here, get them happy with how that went. Come on, media. I mean, does it, is it really that, I mean, it was a 1-0 win against Brighton. Ah. Oh, we stopped Brighton, we're getting a single shot on target. I'm very happy with that. Defense held well. Let's see what people think. Brilliant defensive performance. All right. Uh, yes, I agree with you, sir. That was quite dull, I think. Um, good regulon debut. Good regulon debut. Uh, regulon debut was good. Results are on the grounds. Uh, I think the one that stands out is still the 8 0 from Liverpool. And 5 2. They went down to 10 men and still won. They came back from 2 1. Jesus Christ, Chelsea. Five to seven days. That's that's not terrible. Regulon does impress on its debut. So that game is a few days away. But um I will catch you uh back in uh a few minutes at the next game. And welcome back to the next game. Um yeah, I still haven't decided. I considered um so oops, transfers. Um I've considered giving out Tanganga. I've put in a bid for Yanazai. Um at a eight point two five, which could raise to thirty one million. Um I'm not sure if we will get him or not, but we shall see. Oh also, um Andrea Papetti. Uh, I've also submitted a bid for, and uh, I'm waiting for uh, confirmation of that. Um, with Ayer coming in, I think I might cancel it so I can sign Yanazai. And that's the only thing. Also, this is still so broken, this thing sometimes. It's really annoying me how that doesn't work. Um, yeah, but... Uh, yeah, we'll see. I think we should be able to get Yanazai. Um, if I can adjust that. Uh, yeah, we'll see. That's going to be a later video if you guys find out if I can purchase Yanazai or not. But without further ado, let's play our uh, Europa League game against Tueta. Albanian Super League. Any of those players look familiar to you? None of them look familiar to me. Team selection. All right. Oh, we can add some extra people to the bench. Sanchez, Whiteman, you can get in there. And uh, Tanganga, you're kind of fit. Not really. Um, Son is going to get replaced with Lucas Mora. Uh, Hugo Lloris is going to play. Eric Dyer is going to partner Ayer for this game. Um, I'm going to play our... Uh, Aria, we're gonna have Delaney and Winks in the midfield. Vinicius is gonna play up top. And Endombele and Bale are both gonna retain their spots because Bergvine is injured. So is Son. So yeah. I think that's all I want to do. Ben Davies, um yeah, I think I want to rotate as much as possible just because the, the next game is so close uh, with it being like two days away. Um, but I don't want to risk Lo Celso because that would be a big issue. Uh, recommend Passwords recommended to build up match sharpness with maximum. We'll give him the start. We'll give him the start. Completely change team except for the right wing. Because of Birdvine. 
All right, we're going to stick with the same formation. I may, I'm considering possibly moving to the uh, 2.0 to uh, get the box to box midfielder in. But um, we were really good in preseason with this formation, and I want to stick with it. Uh, skip that. We're, oops, sorry, not instructions. I want to go to attacking. I want to start off on the front foot. All right, Davies throws it in down the left into La Celso. He's going to pass it into Davies, who comes in field. He's going to go to Winks towards the top of the box. Bale stepping out now. Winks is going to find Aurier overlapping on the right. Who's going to. Sh oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! Serge Aurier! What a fucking finish! What a finish! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, Bale with a free kick on the right! He's gonna swing it to the back post. It's gonna get headed clear. Oh my, I can't even believe what I've just witnessed! What a fucking goal! We may already have our goal of the season contender! I have the biggest smile on my face from that goal. Oh my god. La Celso bringing the ball forward. Cuts it back to Mora, who continues going forward. Can he find La Celso? No, he can't. Winks plays Bale in with a lovely ball. Oh my god, Bale hits the post. Nearly two stunning goals and two nearly stunning assists from Harry Winks in ten minutes. <laughs> Serge Aurier, what a goal. What a goal indeed. All right. Tatua to, to have a free kick. I, I don't know how you say this name. I apologize if I'm butchering the crap out of it. Play into the middle here. They go out to the right. Players, Dosti's up against Davies. Can he get the better of him? No, Davies wins the ball. Takes it forward, comes towards the defender, but plays to Mora instead of taking him on. Mora plays a decent ball to a Celso. Puts him into a bit of trouble here. But Celso holds it up well. Gets to Delaney, who's coming wide. Davies is free a little bit on the wing. Taps into Celso again. Back to Davies. Puts the cross in. I don't think it's a very good one, but it falls to Winks, who gets it to Mora. And Winks has got two assists, and Lucas Mora's got a goal. I think it was a pretty bad cross from Davies, but Winks did a pretty solid job in his, uh... Making a statement to be playing in the next game. Some water, but uh, yeah, Harry Winks, um, playmaker extraordinaire so far in this game. I mean, I know against it's against bad opposition, but still, some of the playmaking he's made has been incredible. This also with the corner from the left comes into the middle. Mora's head, Mora tries to get head on it, but it's headed clear to Delaney at the top of the box. Collects it, goes back out wide left to Lo Celso, who brings it into the box and gets horribly fouled. <laughs> horribly fouled um who's our best penalty taker Vinicius is sig significantly good at penalties he's gonna be taking it is that Carlos Vinicius I don't know what he looks like as a player model yet yes Vinicius steps up for the penalty runs up and it's saved that man had 18 fit has 17 or 18 finishing and like 17 or 18 penalty, and he didn't score. It's also with another corner from the left. Vinicius uh, gets his head on it, but is not, not managed to put it in. All right, ball's headed back out. Davies collects out on the left here. Comes inside to Delaney. Goes back to Dyer, who plays it up to Davies. Has some space here, but he's allowed the defenders to close him down. Delaney gets on the ball, plays it back to Dyer. Dyer puts it out to Davies, who's in acres of space. Back into Delaney here, who's still out on the left. Plays it into the middle to Winks. Oh my god, again! Oh my word! Harry Winks, take a bow, first of all. What a first half. What a two goals and an assist. Sorry, two assists and a goal. I can't speak. Two stellar assists. And what a sh two goal of the season contenders in one game. Oh my god.
That outrageous goal! First timer too! Serge Ari had, Ari had time to set it up, but Winks... Nah, this man just says, You did it, well I can do it better! Oh my word! What a first half from Harry Winks. What a first half from Harry Winks. I'm delighted with the performance of our individuals. Harry Winks. Outstretched arms. I'm delighted with your performance so far tonight. Well, we're going to go to tactics. What is LaCelso's condition? He seems to be... What, is, what do they say? Good. Overall injury. Um, hmm. Match load light. Overall injury risk is high. Uh, everybody seems to be high. Uh, I d do we leave him out? I don't know. I want to get Bale off, though. So Zoko is who they suggest. To, to put him on for. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's a tough one. Where else can people play? Yeah, I think um I think I'm gonna put Suzoko on for bail. Can Lo Celso play out wide? No. He can play deeper. Uh... Son's not ready to play. Yeah, I think yeah, we need definitely need to get Yanis in. We need that extra striker, because even with Bergvine back. Yeah. Ayer, I'm going to take off for uh, Tangangna, just so we can get him some exposure. Uh, hopefully he can get um, some interest in him. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Make three subs at halftime. Alright, Winks with a quarter from out on the left. Head. Oh my god. Thomas Lane with his first goal, and Harry Winks gets another assist. Three assists, one goal from Harry Winks. The Harry Winks masterclass today, men. We are experiencing an absolute Harry Winks masterclass, guys. I don't know why I said men. Just, I don't know why. Harry Winks, the god of all men. I mean, outstanding performance. Deserves the captain's armband after this. No, I'm kidding. Um, but, Harry Winks on the ball again. He's got it. Oh, it's taken away from him. Clear by the defender. Taken up by Tanganga. Takes it forward a little bit. Plays it out right to Aurier. Comes inside. Back to the man of the match, Winks. Who plays Aurier in down the wing. Cuts it back. Lucas Mora. And it's five. Lovely headed finish by Mora. But Winks. Winks involved again, man. He's been, Winks involved again, man. Come on now. Harry Winks. Oh my god, what a game. What an absolute game from Harry frickin' Winks. Oh my god. I, I don't even know what to say. I mean, Harry Winks has been incredible. <laughs> I'm just in awe of what he's done so far in this game. Um... Let's just uh, take a pause here to praise the lads for their game. Let's say I know they've done a good job. <laughs> but oh my god. Wait, I just realized something. That's the wrong shot map. I was looking at that thinking that was my shot map because the Brighton game was so little last time. And now I've realized that wasn't even my shot map. Well, it could have been six if Vinicius' penalty didn't saved. But Harry Winks. Let's see the stats for this game. 93% pack accuracy. 11 key passes! This man had 11 key passes! Clear cut chances. Clear. He didn't have any clear cut chances created. 37% from 16 crosses. Not bad. 100% on tackles. 
fouls? Fouls made. He's committed two fouls. Won 60% of his aerial duels. 20% shooting on target. Had three assists. One goal. Absolutely stunning. 9.8. It should be a 10. 100% should be a 10 for Harry Winks today. 100% should be a 10 for Harry Winks. Delighted with your performance, Winks. Outstanding. I think we already have a hero of the save, guys. Harry Winks, hero of the save. 100%. Harry Winks is the new hero. Absolute new hero of the save. No if ands, buts about it. I mean, Harry Winks. Outstanding. On to the next round. Will they tell us who we get? Yes, we play uh, Chart Royal Charlie Chart. Char the team from Belgium. Bel Royal Belgian Sporting Club. We'll call them that. Um, yeah, that's Royal, Royal Belgium Sporting Club. Oh, also. Oh, yeah. Um, to give you an idea, um, we're, I'm literally going to play the Sheffield game off camera, and then we're going to play uh, Liverpool and uh, the next Europa League game. Um, but yeah, we got Liverpool in the cup. So that's going to be a really difficult game, and we might already be out of one of the things we're trying to win, which is great. But hey, two wins, six goals, and a Harry Winks masterclass to start the save. What else could you want? Absolutely fantastic. I'm thrilled, and I'm very happy with it, so, yeah. <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. I will see you very soon in the next video, and uh, thanks for watching, and thanks for, um, thanks for uh, joining us for the Harry Winks Masterclass. <laughs> I think this video is going to be called the Harry Winks Masterclass, but yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I will catch you in the next one.